I am Tony McDuff. Uh, at the Star in Frisco as the Dallas Cowboys prepare for the 2022 NFL Draft. They've got the 24th overall selection. Joining me is our Cowboys insider, Mickey Spagnoli. You met with uh, Jerry Jones a short time ago. Did he give you any insight into what the Cowboys will do? You know, he probably would have had to fire me, right, if he told me anything. And maybe that wouldn't have been enough, right? But his point was, we got to pick somebody that can walk in and play. It's not a developmental guy, even though they're 24th. It's not like you're picking 12th like they did last year with Micah Parsons. That guy's got to be an immediate starter. And if it's a wide receiver, he's got to be in the top three. If it's an offensive lineman, and preferably, I, and they value flexibility at that position. So if, if he's a tackle, can he come in and play guard for me? Because then I got to use another pick for a guard. And then he can move out to tackle at some point. That would be their preference. Uh, same thing with a linebacker. Can he be one of my top three? Or can he be a guy that can come in and be my nickel linebacker the way Keanu Neal was last year? You know, they're kind of counting on Jabril Cox for that position. But he's coming off an ACL surgery. And chances are he's going to be rehabbing in training camp. So who knows when he's ready? So you got Van Der Esch and you got Micah Parsons. And really, that's kind of it. So linebacker shows up, absolutely. But he's got to play. If, if he's not going to play immediately, then in the second round, that guy's got a challenge for a job. And I think that's what they're talking about. It's not like they have must needs, but they have things that they have to accomplish to supplement their roster at a lower salary cap charge. And you know, it, it used to be a decade or so ago, a wide receiver was drafted and they groomed that wide receiver. Right. But this day and age, we've seen wide receivers taken in the first round and turning into superstars as a rookie. So the Cowboys, I mean, a wide receiver is definitely a need and a possibility in the first round. Oh, absolutely. And here's what's happened. Look at what's taken place in the college game. Basically, they throw the football. So now the wide receivers are more prepared to come in in the NFL than they were 10 years ago. There was a learning curve, and it was one of the tougher positions to transition to. I used to say, we know quarterback, tough. Wide receiver and quarterback, cornerback, probably next. But now, the way they play the college game, these guys are NFL ready because of the spread offenses. The other position that the college game is affecting is the offensive lineman. Stephen Jones talked about, yeah, we would like to take an offensive lineman, but they are hard to project coming into the NFL because of how they play the college game. They don't play a true running game, right? And, and so now, all of a sudden, you're going up against guys that are 320, and it's not maybe once every three weeks. It's every position out there uh, every week. And so they've, he said it's harder to evaluate the offensive linemen. But you're almost like, it's not like you're taking a chance, but you're rolling the dice a little bit more at that position, transfer, transferring from the college game into the NFL. Are you saying that, that some of those offensive linemen, they're running RPOs? Uh, you know, d during the collegiate and high school career, does that make them more difficult to assess? Yeah, especially, I think especially when it comes to their run blocking, because they're not, how many times is the college quarterback under center and he turns and he hands off? Not very many. The, the defense sees that, they know they're running, right? So you got to be able to run block. You got to be a road grader, but you also got to pass block. And these guys are more set to pass block, right? And they're not used to reading things, right? In college, they got signs on the sideline, right? And they're, they're changing the defense after the quarterback steps out. And, and it's like waiting for the next ch play change. That ain't happening with the shot clock in the NFL. So you got to be more adept. And the transition more difficult. But I think that's why they want flexibility at that position in this draft. If I take an offensive tackle, can he transition in and play guard for me right away? And then I'll move him out. They've done that several times. They did it with Flozell Adams. It was in the late 90s, right? 98, I believe it was. He was a tackle. He came in and he started at guard for a year, and then he moved the tackle when they needed him at tackle. The next year, they did the same thing with Solomon Page. They, actually, they did it with Lael Collins. If you think about it, when he came in as a free agent, because he didn't get drafted for circumstantial reasons, he, they, he was a tackle there. 
Well, he came in and played guard, and then they moved him out to tackle. So that's the kind of versatility they're looking for. Not only there, but also on the on the offensive on the wide receiver position. Can this wide receiver play all three spots? Not using a first round pick on just a guy that can play the slot, right? It's got to be versatile. And so that's what they're looking for there. Even linebacker, can you play multiple spots? And like Micah Parsons last year, he's a linebacker, but oh, we need help at defensive end for a couple weeks. Can yep. you do that? Now, now last year at this time, you were big on Micah Parsons. Right. You talked a lot about Micah Parsons. Give our viewers a name to look for this year. Well, I fell in love with this guy and I, uh, I got turned on to him by Bill Jones. Channel 11 here in Dallas. Christian Watson, wide receiver, North Dakota State. And I know all of a sudden everybody's going, oh, a small school, North Dakota State. He's 6'4", 6'4", and he ran a 4'3", 6'40". And he could play every wide receiver spot, and in a pinch, he could return kickoffs, right? Think about a 6'4 guy coming at you at 4'3", right? When I wrote about him, I said 436, the key number. And I said, and that's not his great point, right? <laughs> so I really like him. I don't know if he's a late first round pick or if he's a second round guy. But I watched his film, and here's how you can tell guys have speed. A lot of times you're running, the other guy's got the angle, and, and you beat him, right? He was running between two guys, and they were shoulder to shoulder and he just left them behind, right? And I get it, small school, but speed is speed, and the Cowboys could use some more speed at wide receiver. Well, you can come from a small school and have big game. Remember that name, Christian Watson, North Dakota State. We'll see if uh, Mickey Spagnola hits it two years in a row. That'll do it for our look at what's coming up for the Dallas Cowboys in the 2022 NFL Draft. See you later from Frisco.